Hi everyone, this is James Braithwaite at Braithwaite Physiotherapy here in Toronto. And today we're going to talk about uh, tendinopathy. This is the second of a two-part series, an update on tendinopathy. We did the first of these videos last week, and you may recall there we talked about how to do an isometric contraction exercise to help you manage pain, and we talked about some of the other stuff that you might do as well to help manage your early stage or reactive uh, tendinopathies. Today, though, we're talking about later stage tendinopathies. So these have been around for more than six weeks. Uh, the tissue is definitely thickened at this point. Um, you'll notice that it's really tender, like it doesn't tolerate uh, activity really well. There is a, a great exercise protocol that science has got some good evidence to support uh, for managing and, and working towards healing a later stage tendinopathy, and that is eccentric strength training exercise. We've talked about eccentric strength training in the past in some of the other videos that we've done. You may recall that eccentric exercises are resistance exercises where the muscle is contracting but lengthening at the same time. So right now, if we do a biceps curl type exercise, there's a concentric phase where the muscle is, is shortening and contracting. So my biceps is shortening and, con and contracting right now. And then if I let that weight down, it's still contracting because it's not collapsing down, but it's also lengthening as well. So lengthening and contracting. That's what eccentric is all about, that lengthening element. So last time uh, on our uh, isometric exercise, we dealt with an Achilles uh, tendinopathy and we showed you how to do an Achilles isometric uh, exercise. And you can check out that tendinopathy update part one for more details on that. Today, for our eccentric exercise that we'd be doing in the later stage, uh, we're going to do this eccentric heel drop, which I'm going to show you in just a second. Now, you wouldn't necessarily do this exercise if you were in mid-athletic season. So let's say you're training for a marathon or you're an athlete and you're, uh, you know, you're representing your team and you're in mid-season. You, you really might not choose to do this uh, eccentric exercise protocol in those times because it can be irritating and we, we don't want to screw up your ability to train. So if you're in the middle of a, a, a training protocol for whatever reason, you can choose to do this at your discretion. If you find it irritating, then stick with the isometric exercise protocol that we discussed in the tendinopathy update part one video. And when you get into the off season or after your event, you can then choose to go to this eccentric style of exercise, okay? But assuming that you're able to do it and that your tendons can handle the irritation, let's show you uh, an eccentric exercise for the Achilles tendon, okay? So what I'm gonna do today is we're going to do a heel drop, which you can do at any step. You can also do it at a calf raise machine. I really like the free weight stuff, so I've got my dumbbell here and I've got a step, and you can do this on your step at home with a weight as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my affected side for our purposes today because I'm in a, a protective boot on my right side after my Achilles tendon rupture about six weeks ago. We're going to instead work the left side. So I'm going to get my left foot up onto my step. I'm going to grab my weight and I'm going to come up onto the step. Okay? So the heel drop is an exercise where I let the heel drop down below the level of the step. You see how it's below the level of the step there? And then I use my other foot to help push up. So the concentric phase of the exercise, I'm getting an assistance with, with my other foot. I'm not getting the assistance on the drop. See, I let it drop on its own. Help up, drop down. Help up, drop down. Just like that. Controlled, drop, so that the heel is below the level of the step. Just like so, right? Now, the protocol for this particular exercise is called Alfredson's Painful Heel Drop Exercise. So it's okay to get a little bit of discomfort there. I really wanna keep the discomfort that lasts after the exercise to a dull roar. So if you're still in pain three hours after the exercise, that's too much. Um, but a little bit of discomfort during the exercise is okay and you should probably expect that. The exercise protocol is uh, got a lot of volume to it, it's heavy. So you wanna be doing 80% of your maximum um, weight which, and you're gonna do 15 reps, five sets a day, which is actually quite a lot, right? So 15 repetitions, five sets a day, and four days a week. That's a lot of exercise. And you have to do that over a period of about three months because these tendons, they take a long time to respond to strength training, much longer than a muscle belly. So your muscles get stronger 
quicker than the tendons will strengthen up around these types of exercises. So be persistent and give yourself the time you need to let those tendons toughen up. And again, that's, it's, you gotta give yourself that sort of three month window. So again, an off season is a really good time to do this. Again, that is something that you can discuss with your physiotherapist um, to get more details and, and to just decide on a plan that works for you. So once again, depending on the tendon that you're working on, you would do a different exercise. So we did an Achilles tendon eccentric exercise. If it was a patellar tendon, you would pick a different exercise. If it was, uh, you know, you were dealing with something around a tennis elbow and your extensor tendons through the forearm, that's a different exercise. And again, your physiotherapist can help you decide on what exercise is best for you in your particular tendinopathy. But that eccentric strength training protocol is well backed by science. Um, it will help you to strengthen up your, tendinop your tendinopathy tendon. If you have any questions about this, Certainly would encourage you to reach out to me. Um, I'd love to see you here in my office in Toronto, and I'm certainly excited to talk to you about this or any other question that you have related to physiotherapy. So until next time, I'm James at Braithwaite Physiotherapy right here in Toronto. We'll see you next time.